Hey everybody, welcome to Hump Day! And I hope you woke up this morning, got through your day. Feelings, motivated and encouraged, optimistic, enthusiastic, inspiring, power, positive, love from above, another day in way. Feeling the way by stuff. You need to reevaluate your circumstances, understand where you're at in life, and make a change. You literally, utterly, without a doubt, have a choice to make a change. Now every day we wake up, we got a plan, we got an agenda, we got a goal, we got a mission. We have an, ob an objective. We got something we're running towards, something that we that motivates us, keeps us hungry, keeps us driven, keeps us ambitious, keeps us obsessed, keeps us helps us helps us to continually be dominating contenders through direction and influence and instruction and practice. Right? Every day, every week, every month, every year. But eventually, something will. Try to come along your way and throw a monkey wrench in your mechanics. Something will try to put a hope, a stop to your drive. Something will interfere, will try to interfere with due process, a roadblock, speed bump, adversity, adversaries on many levels, right? I'm sure you all can agree, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual. Listen to what I just said. Whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual. You can get on, get attacked on all three levels, right? Or it could be outside yourself. You want to drive through traffic. You, you're at work one day. You're in a supermarket. You're in some convenience store. You're in Home Depot. You're walking down the road. You're in the gym. You're in school. You're at home. It could be anything on any measure, any shape, form, and fashion. It, can ha it happens to everybody. The fact remains, a lot of people don't know that a lot of other people, you yourself included, we it's not a you me it's a we thing it's not a you and me thing we all go through these ropes right these trials and tribulations of life it's inevitable again whether it be physically mentally or spiritually whether it be on the outside of things or on the inside of things in your home the fact remains is this you're going to come across these adversities trials and tribulations of life it's not about what you're going through but it's about how you handle it and continue to move on. Everybody's different. We're all of different calibers. We all have our own issues, problems, situations, scenarios. We all go through many things on different levels, whether it be that extreme level, that moderate level, or that low level. It's still an issue. Again, it could be emotional. It could be spiritually. It could be, you know, the fact that you're a loving person and somebody broke your heart. It could be physical. You could be going through uh, physical change, you might have, you might get hurt when you're trying to grow and something might take you out of commission. You might have to have some type of surgery. Again, it could be mental. You're mentally distracted by the circumstances of whatever measure it may be you're going through. At the end of the day, the fact remains, you have to keep moving forward. You have to keep pushing. You have to fight. You have to grind. You have to, you know, get up on your feet, put your chest out. Keep your head up. No matter the adversity, no matter how hard it gets, you know, uh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt real bad, whatever it may be. It might hurt just a little bit. It might hurt just a little bit more. But it might really hurt like, oh, that hurts. It might physically hurt. It might mentally hurt. It might verbally hurt. You might hear something you don't like, right? It might visually hurt. Some things you just can't help. I can is not a man and woman's vocabulary. We can do whatever we want to do. We just got to figure out how to do it, right? So there are some things that are just inevitable. It's going to come across your path, come across your table. It's going to come across you in some shape, form, or fashion of life. Again, the fact remains, it's up to you to keep moving forward. It's up to you to understand the circumstances at hand and understand that you've been through all types of adversities before. You've been through a lot of things. Maybe... Maybe not as bad as this one. Maybe not on this level. Maybe not to this extreme. Maybe on the lower level. Maybe not as significant. No matter what it is, you gotta understand what it is that you have to do and how you have to move forward. You gotta be steadfast in your ways. Yee Bombay, is that what they say? Be steady, be strong, be steadfast. Do not waver. Do not be double-minded. Don't be like the wave. You go in, you go out. Don't be like that man in the mirror. One minute you see what you see. When you walk away, you forgot who you saw. Understand your worth, your value. 
Something will try to attack your mind. Something will try to attack your spirit. Something will try to attack your body. Reach out to your father. Ask him. Tell him you need his strength. You need his power. You need his glory. You need his might. Talk to his son, our Lord Jesus Christ. He's always in the midst of things. He's always around us, whether or not you like to believe it. Again, many things on many levels, adversities, adversaries will try to come against you, especially when you're about to excel and succeed. When you're about to catapult to a whole nother level of life. When you're about to grow on levels like you've never even experienced. The things that you've never thought you would accomplish, you're accomplishing. Not everybody's going to be happy for you. Not everybody's going to want to see you succeed. Not everybody's going to be as, bit, as ambitious and driven like you are. Hungry, determined, obsessed, motivated, encouraged, optimistic, or enthusiastic. There are those out there that want to see you fall and pray that you fall. But it doesn't matter. You're not going to place value on the opinions of others, nor what they say or what they think. In any shape, form, or fashion, you're going to keep moving forward. Be driven. Be even more driven. Because when you fight whatever emotional physical, spiritual, or mental idea you're going through, when you fight that and push through it, trust me, something else will take its place and you'll be even more driven. You'll feel even more invigorated. You'll feel even more obsessed. You'll feel even more motivated to understand your worth in this world. Everybody have a good night. And it's hump day! Ain't that right, Jaden? Everybody enjoy your night. Sleep well. Remember, Pray to your Father in heaven and put your shoes way under your bed so when you wake up in the morning, you have to get down on your knees and thank him for allowing you to wake up in the morning. Pray that your mind stays clear, your heart stays calm, and your spirit stays at rest. So you wake up in the same fashion you want to bed. Make sure you have clarity within yourself, knowing that you complete, you completed the course of your day to the fullest of its capacity. Everybody be great, be blessed, and remember you're only as strong as your weakest link inside yourself. You can be the cause of your own demise, or you can be the reason you rise. GPT 360. Uh, <laughs> GPT 360 Gorilla Power Train. Deuce to God be the glory. I'm out. Stays on the way up. It's part of the play. The problems that made us. You build when you break. I'm sharp as a razor.